डे केयर सर्जरी और एम्बुलेटरी सर्जरी वॉट एग्जैक्टली इट इज इट इज द एडमिशन ऑफ द पेशेंट एंड इट्स सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर एंड डिस्चार्ज ऑन द सेम डे इफ यू लाइक अवर चैनल प्लीज हिट द बेल आईकॉन एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल now ambulatory surgery or day care surgery is a clinical admission for a surgical procedure with discharge of the patient on the same working day a day care clinic is defined as an institution in which patients undergo elective operation on the day of their admission and are discharged within 24 hours after surgery in fact they are discharged on the very same evening day care surgery encompasses those surgical intervention that are more complex than office based procedure performed under local anesthesia but less complex than major procedure requiring at least overnight stay the potential benefit of ambulatory surgery includes more rapid return to comforts of home environment diminished opportunity for nosocomial complication and diminished cost majority of surgeons still prefer to carry out surgeries even minor ones at large multi specialty hospital a significant number of procedures that do not require special equipment preparations and stay are realized in this hospital this leads to long waiting list shortage of beds high cost of the bed per day and a significant burden on the limited resources particularly so in the developing countries so while 30 to 50% of all the surgeries can be performed safely in an outpatient sector this rate reaches out to 90% in case of anorectal operation so almost all the anorectal surgeries can be safely done in a day care way now what are the criteria for surgeries there should be a minimal risk of post operative airway compromise post operative con- pain controllable by outpatient minimal risk of post operative hemorrhage no need of a specialized nursing requirements and a rapid return to normal fluid and food intake so if somebody fulfills all these criteria he is fit now selecting an ideal patients so those patient having a good control on systemic disease like hypertension diabetes or ischemic heart disease patient corresponding to american society of anesthesiology 1 and 2 levels those who were on anticoagulant therapy have discontinued it patient accompanied by a responsible person to take him home and stay with him for next 48 hours and assurance of active participation of the family members the various procedures which can be def- done on a day care are hemorrhoid surgery anal fissure anal fistula anal and perianal abscess drainage pilonidal sinus rectal prolapse laparoscopic colorectal surgery star procedure removal of colorectal adenomas and endoscopic removal of rectal polyps and biopsies now the prerequisite of the patient patient having easy access to toilet and telephone availability of quick transport in case of emergency or complication access to medical facilities round the clock in case of complication or emergency and patient literate enough to understand post operative instruction and follow them scrupulously so all these criteria must meet for day care surgery to be performed now coming to pre operative preparations all the patient should be investigated with routine hemogram blood glucose estimation and estimation of hiv and australia antigen patient over 35 years are evaluated by a physician patient receiving polyethylene glycol solution or any other laxative a night before surgery no enema is given patient should be fasting from the morning and one word of caution that all the patient must be examined before the actual procedure as sometimes a change in symptoms and sign may call for a modification in the choice of procedure or at times postponement of the procedure for want of some doubts to be cleared by other investigations now organizing the procedure patients are admitted in the hospital on an hour prior to the procedure they are taken to the operative room where venous line is placed an anesthesiologist monitors his ecg blood pressure and oximetry most of the patients are operated in lithotomy or jack knife position the operative field is not shaved except in case of pilonidal sinus disease 
so this way now question about anesthesia whether it should be a local or general anesthesia while most of the studies have shown that nearly all the anorectal procedure could be performed under local or loco regional anesthesia one should be ready for all methods of anesthesia and should be tailored according to the individual patient the dislike for general anesthesia may reflect differences in surgical culture but in most of the cases it is easy and comfortable while local anesthesia does have definite advantage in avoiding post possible post anesthesia complication it should be considered looking forward on the patient's anxiety about the procedure uncomfortable position in the operation room and sometimes need for an additional procedure requiring extension or duration of anesthesia operative notes after disinfecting the field the procedure is carried out no intranasal dressing is necessary excepting coverage of external wounds patient are kept under observation for next 6 hours to contain vomiting urinary retention pain or post anesthesia events if any the wounds should be checked and dressings are renewed if found necessary in case of undue bleeding or soiling the patient should be provided with a leaflet exhaustively detailing essential post operative care along with dietary instruction and sits bar dressing application of ointment analgesics and laxative they are provided with a telephone number to call at any time in case of complication or query they are discharged once they have passed urine has started tickle, taking oral feeds and being administered a dose of analgesics criteria for discharging the patient stable vital signs for at least 2 hours adequate pain control minimal nausea vomiting or dizziness correct orientation as to time place and relevant people adequate hydration patients having significant risk of urinary retention after having already passed urine so once this criteria are met the patient can be discharged post operatively the care to be taken a warm water sits bath immediately after defecation and again at bed time they are asked to apply a cream containing local anesthetic and antiseptic twice in a day and as and when they felt pain or pass stool systemic systemic antibiotics in case of infective surgeries emphasis should be placed on induction of early bowel action and so liberal use of fiber supplement post operative control of pain the control of post defecation pain is the most important issue in proctology patients are instructed to consume analgesics with impunity the routine analgesic prescribed are paracetamol tramadol and diclofenac sodium post operative pain control can be achieved by infiltration with long lasting anesthesia post operative pre operative analgesics and use of oral opioids in the post operative course post operative pain cannot be determined pre operatively as it is a subjective and varies from patient to patient but to our experience adequate doses of analgesics did help the patient in coping up with pain and patient should not hesitate in taking analgesics as and when required because that will help him in a lot the usual anxiety in prescribing higher doses of analgesics lie in their adverse side effect like nausea dizziness constipation and drop in blood pressure however such complications resulting from analgesic medication are tolerated well by the patient in preference to undergoing tortuous pain in the post operative course so pain weighs more than the side effects of the analgesics coming to post operative complication the most common complications of proctology surgery include post operative hemorrhage retention of urine infection and severe pain the reason for post operative urinary retention are multiple and they comprise of amount of intravenous fluid administered perioperatively dysfunction of the detrusor reflex urethral spasm clinically silent prostatic hypertrophy and fear of pain a stress is given on sits bath with special emphasis it is our experience that apart from giving relief from pain it improves the local blood circulation augmenting the effects of medication it also helps in cleaning the wounds without the need for any external assistance water for sits bath should not be too hot and no additives needed so reminding the patient strict instructions are needed to be given to the patient about post operative care local hygienic measures dressings consumption of analgesics physical exercise good food habits and adequate measures to avoid constipation so patient should follow all these instruction very religiously
to avoid complications. The ideal day care surgery. The downside of proctology surgery are its pain quotient and the lengthy time of work. If the operation could be performed with minimal postoperative discomfort and high patient satisfaction, then the patient are bound to opt for a day care operation as against repeated office procedure or a conservative therapy. So they would derive their surgery because of these advantages. So summing up, a day care surgery offers many advantage over the indoor ones as the patient's life is minimally disturbed. The incidence of hospital infection is minimum. There is earlier return to normal activity and reduced time of work. They are more comfortable at home. The significant reduction in treatment cost and minimal pressure on hospital resources. Morbidity rates in inpatient and outpatient surgery are comparable. It cannot be overemphasized that careful patient selection, meticulous surgery with minimal tissue damage, optimal wound care, appropriate post-operative analgesia and raising patient's confidence are the key to any successful proctological outpatient surgery. So, one has to take, an in, take into account all these things, then only a daycare surgery can be successful. It cannot be concluded, it can be concluded that the future of the outpatient surgery is promising and the time is ripe for elaborating a study so that the healthcare system becomes more effective and efficient, providing broader and better quality assistance, both available at a lower cost and to the entire population. So, daycare surgery should be a choice for everyone in proctological surgery. So,